Hey guys, Dan with True North Motos. We are here to do a install video on our LED fork wrap turn signals. So this is what you're going to get in the package, two turn signals. You're going to have an extra lead of red wire and one of these headlight connectors. So if you want to just install these and not use the running light feature, snip this red wire, put them on your forks, plug this in, you're done. Super simple. If you want to use the running light feature, what you do, well first, to install them, line up the bottom of the turn signal with the bottom of this smooth section. You want to start right about here, that way the wire is tucked beside your fender and behind your headlight mask. This avoids it getting pulled out or anything by tree branches or brush when you're riding. Keep it all even all the way around along that bottom line and then start your zip tie. Pull your zip tie in. I always leave a little bit in case I need to release the zip tie and pull these off for any reason. I can reuse that zip tie. Now for running or installing the running light, you need to tap into your running light on your headlight. So your headlight plug, it's the one that comes off your harness. If you're looking at it with this tab up, you want to do the bottom right plug when you're looking at the front or bottom light pin if you're looking at the front of the plug. Now you'll use a small flathead screwdriver or a pick or whatever you have that can fit in there. And you come in right on top of the glass right here and you work your screwdriver in. And then you can pull this connector out. Now this one's already done. But I'm just going to show you. So what's been happened or what's happened here is I've stripped these wires on the red. I've clipped just as little as much as I can to get the old connector off and strip that white wire. Now, you're going to take the new headlight connector that comes with your bike or I mean, excuse me, with your turn signals and then you're going to run all three of those wires together. Now you can use a normal crimping tool to do it. You can use solder if you feel like you need to use solder. We use the uh, IWIS crimping tool. Very nice. You get it started in there, run your wires in. And you have a perfect crimp. And that is it. Thanks for watching.